In this video, I want to show you guys how to set up your market delta footprint to spot absorption and some of the common settings you should be aware of when you're trying to do that. If you're not sure what absorption is, this is a pattern um, that we discuss or have uh, brought to light. It's only really visible on a footprint chart because of the fact that you can see inside the bar, see volume, price, and order flow. So if you want to read more about it, um, you can search either marketdelta.com for absorption or go over to footprintchart.com and search absorption there. But let me just show you how to do this briefly. There's a couple ways, so there's not a single way. Um, I have a footprint chart open and what you can do is right click on the footprint, choose modify FP. And I'll just kind of flip through these to show you. I have it on profile, is the style profile. And this is the easiest way to spot it visually because we can see the shape of the bars and we can tell which bars experience more volume. So this is the easiest way to see it from a visual standpoint. However, we certainly have uh, a lot of users that like to see it this way. So I'll change it to a volume footprint. And here we have just the numbers shows you the, the raw numbers um, and you can see the darker shades represent the higher volume levels uh, that occurred within the bar so it's not a graphical representation but more of a numerical way and this this works well too um, you can obviously tell the range of the bars these shorter kind of squat ones uh, if you get a lot of volume kind of accumulating down here uh, with little no follow through that's a that's a nice that can be used as a nice signal where here you get a lot of prices that traded not a lot of liquidity really until it runs into supply down here this is a classical way that this can be uh, looked at and in this case we have supply where I should say demand meeting the supply so the supply they were selling 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 until it hit passive demand at this price let me zoom that in a little and you can see that we start we, we were able to start to see volume accumulate and it accumulated in the next bar before then at least creating a counter reaction or rotation higher now obviously it's since started to trade lower um, but this is another way of viewing it and then again right click modify and under style you can look at this on a bid ask footprint as well and so the bid ask footprint allows you it shows you that breakdown of volume and it's not showing you just uh, a total volume you'd, you'd have to really see that in your mind just go with the large the larger numbers represents more volume so this one isn't as obvious but certainly people do like this uh, as well the color that you have on here the color shading in the background represents the order flow so any shade of red represents um, sell or more aggressive selling any shade of green represents more aggressive buying and then probably the last one you may consider is the imbalance footprint this is used extensively as well um, but again we don't get the total volume it's not as easy to read the total volume at each price level so just to kind of recap your volume footprint is probably going to be one of the go-to uh, types or the or this one which is the profile footprint now just to extend this concept a little bit further um, and I'll do it from this from the profile footprint you can go under highlight it and add um, a buy and sell and balance on here and you can color code these to show you where imbalances might occur so it would maybe draw a box draw a box around the footprints that experience an imbalance so that when you get to a, when you start to spot absorption occurring which would be wider bars you can then also have it show you if there's an imbalance present and that's a nice way to give you a trigger 
not just based on absorption, but then order flow. So this is a, just one way that you might extend the idea of absorption using your imbalances. So what's nice about this is you have a, uh, a profile footprint, but you still get imbalance uh, information. And so let me, um, let me turn off the extend. And I would really need to change the colors, maybe to um, I'll leave this at blue, but maybe change this one to yellow. And I obviously probably need to, let's make them hollow. So I'll hit close and OK. So here we would get imbalances. You can see the yellows that are that got, got uh, highlighted. So not that these were trades that we would have wanted to take. Uh, but if you see those down in these uh, potentially where you have absorption, that could be your trigger. So you don't have to use it that way. But I just want to show you that's one way that you can extend the concept of absorption along with a uh, trigger based on footprint information. So if you have any questions, feel free to reach out to us. We'd be more than happy to help out or conf help configure some of these charts if you need it. Thanks and make a great day.